In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NHL games happening on December 2nd, 2022, and providing you with three team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NHL games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Ottawa Senators vs. New York Rangers The Ottawa Senators faced the New York Rangers in a rematch of Wednesday night's game where the Rangers won 3-1. The Senators have an 8-13-1 record and are in last place in the Atlantic Division. The Rangers, meanwhile, have an 11-9-4 record and have lost three of their last four games. Both teams are looking to improve within the division and the Eastern Conference and the upcoming game should be a good one as a result. The Senators are 56-134 in their last 190 road games and 4-12 in their last 16 overall. The Rangers are 1-4 in their last 5 games following a win and 1-5 in their last 6 home games. The under is 9-0 in Senators' last 9 overall. The under is 20-9 in Rangers' last 29 overall. The Senators are 0-4 in the last 4 meetings. The road team is 6-2 in the last 8 meetings. The favorite is 4-1 in the last 5 meetings. The Ottawa Senators just can't get out of their own way, mainly due to a defense that lets them down time and time again. The New York Rangers continue to underachieve, but they're still a really talented club that should be able to beat up on lesser teams at home. I get the reasoning for taking a stab at the sense here because the Rangers just don't look like the team that ran roughshod through the NHL for much of last year, especially at home. The problem is that the Rangers have had their way with the sense in recent years and the Senators just look like they're in another one of those funks that they go through and have a hard time getting out of. There's really no excuse with the Rangers in this spot. So the New York Rangers money line is our full game side pick. The Ottawa Senators are averaging three goals per game and are scoring on 23.8% of their power play opportunities. Defensively, the Ottawa Senators are allowing 3.4 goals per game and are killing 77.6% of their opponent's power plays. The New York Rangers are averaging three goals per game and are scoring on 21.2% of their power play opportunities. Defensively, the New York Rangers are allowing 2.9 goals per game and are killing 82.6% of their opponent's power plays. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Nashville Predators vs. New York Islanders We have a non-conference matchup between the Nashville Predators and the New York Islanders on Friday evening at UBS Arena. The Predators fifth in the Central Division and are coming off a 2-1 overtime home win on Tuesday against the Anaheim Ducks. The Islanders are second in the Metropolitan Division and are coming off a 3-1 road loss on Tuesday against the Philadelphia Flyers. This will be the second and final regular season game as they played on November 17th with the Predators picking up a 5-4 home win. The Predators are 3-9 in their last 12 road games and 5-2 in their last 7 overall. The Islanders are 6-1 in their last 7 home games and 4-1 in their last 5 overall. The Under is 5-2 in Predators' last 7 overall. The Under is 4-1 in Islanders' last 5 overall. The Predators are 5-0 in the last 5 meetings in New York and 8-0 in the last 8 meetings. The favorite is 16-7 in the last 23 meetings. These defenses have been doing well, but the Islanders are doing a lot better as the Islanders are allowing 1.8 goals in their previous four games while the Predators are giving up 2.8 goals in their last five games. The penalty kill for both teams have been doing extremely well, but New York is fifth in the NHL with an 83.1 kill percentage while Nashville is 11th with an 80.6 kill percentage thus far. The favorite has won in 16 of the previous 23 games against each other in this matchup. The Nashville Predators are showing signs of getting their act together, but now they go on the road where they have a point to prove and they're on the end of a back-to-back. -back. The Predators are going to have some issues in their game. Nashville's offense has been an issue all season, and they are going to struggle again in this game. The Islanders are giving up only 2.58 goals per game, and that will be the difference here. As I've said time and time again, the Islanders are just one of those teams I back with reasonable prices. You're going to get a strong effort from the Islanders time and time again and a great defense. So the New York Islanders' money line is our full game side pick. The Nashville Predators are averaging 2.5 goals per game and are scoring on 6. 
16.7% of their power play opportunities. Defensively, the Nashville Predators are allowing 3.2 goals per game and are killing 80.6% of their opponent's power plays. The New York Islanders are averaging 3.3 goals per game and are scoring on 23.5% of their power play opportunities. Defensively, the New York Islanders are allowing 2.6 goals per game and are killing 82.7% of their opponent's power plays. The ability to score on the power play is critical to success offensively as Nashville is converting on 16.3% of power plays while New York is scoring on 23.6% of power play attempts. Both of these teams are also aggressive in terms of getting shots at the net this season as the Predators are averaging 30.5 shot attempts per game while the Islanders are averaging 30.8 shots per game heading into this matchup. The over has hit in seven of the previous nine games between one another. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Columbus Blue Jackets vs. Winnipeg Jets The Columbus Blue Jackets face the Winnipeg Jets with both teams heading in opposite directions to start the season. The Blue Jackets have a 7-12-2 record and are in last place in the Metropolitan Division. The Jets have a 14-6-1 record and with three wins in a row are near the top of the Central Division. The Blue Jackets are looking to improve in the Metropolitan Division while the Jets look to remain near the top of the Central Division and the Western Conference and the upcoming game should be a good one as a result. The Blue Jackets are 17-40 in their last 57 road games and 17-35 in their last 52 overall. The Jets are 12-2 in their last 14 home games and 4-1 in their last 5 overall. The over is 14-6 in Blue Jackets' last 20 overall. The under is 18-7-2 in Jets' last 27 overall. The Blue Jackets are 2-5 in the last 7 meetings in Winnipeg. The home team is 4-0 in the last 4 meetings. The favorite is 5-2 in the last 7 meetings. The Jets are 5-2 in their last 7 home games against the Blue Jackets and on top of that in the last 4 meetings between these teams the home team has won every time. This is the first game between these teams this season. The Jets have won 3 in a row where their attack has been awesome totaling 17 goals. While the Blue Jackets have only allowed 3 goals in each of their last 3 games on the season, they are giving up an average of 4.1 goals per game, which is the second worst mark in the league. Columbus comes into this game on a three-game losing streak, but has played better defense in their last four games. Winnipeg has won three games in a row and is coming off of a 5-0 win against Colorado. The Jets are playing great right now and have one of the best goalies in the league. The Columbus Blue Jackets just aren't playing good hockey this season, and they've hit a new level of suck over the last week. The Blue Jackets are just a mess defensively, and it's hard to trust them, especially on the road. The Winnipeg Jets do their best work on their home ice, and they're actually one of the best home teams in the league over the last month. Winnipeg will stay hot on the attack, and their defense will get it done. So the Winnipeg Jets to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The Jets' attack has scored five goals in their last game, and in their last three games they have totaled 17 goals. On top of that, in the last six games between these teams and Winnipeg, the total has gone over every time. To go even further, in the last five games between these teams, overall, the over record is 5-1. to one. The Blue Jackets have not been bad on defense as of late, but have been on the season, and they will get peppered in this game. They will not score much, but the Jets will score a bunch. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.